accused of abusing her infant. Springfield police arrested the mother Friday, charging her with one count of child abuse. But as News 13's Christiana Roberson tells us she may be facing additional charges. 24-year-old Brittany White was arrested with one count of intentional child abuse. Springfield Police Assistant Chief Russell Voyles says he responded to the call on Friday. Yes, I was actually one of the initial officers on scene. Uh, we conferred with the folks from Healthy Start that were there and made the decision that the child needed to go to the emergency room. Officials say White is part of Gulf Coast Children's Advocacy Center Healthy Start program. Mother and child were gone for a couple of weeks, and when she returned, a caseworker noticed the child's eyes were not tracking correctly and their behavior was off. They say the child was initially treated at Gulf Coast Regional Medical Center, but then transferred to Shands Hospital in Gainesville. Officials say doctors found bone fractures on one of the child's legs. The doctors discovered um, some pre-existing bone fractures in one of the legs uh, that were in the healing process. We don't know how far into the healing process they were. Um, so we do know that there are going to be some other injuries there that we have to address. Investigators say this is one of the worst cases they've seen. Officials say due to the alleged shaking, the child may also have suffered detached retinas. We're waiting for the medical staff to do a better diagnostic. Uh, diagnosis on the child so that we're able to go forward with potential, potentially some additional charges. White allegedly admitted to shaking the child. No matter how frustrated you are with a child, it is not okay to shake them. It can cause lifelong consequences that are completely life altering. Uh, if you're frustrated, you need to put the baby down, you need to walk away, you need to take a breath. Shaking the baby is never an okay option. In Panama City, Christiana Roberson, News 13, Panhandle Strong. White appeared in court Saturday for a bond hearing. The judge gave her a pretrial release and she was allowed to go home.